Hey everyone, Tara here from Archie English, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Reverso Context to read and transcribe web pages and articles from the internet, and how you can use it to transcribe subtitles on applications like Netflix, TED Talks, YouTube, and Amazon. And finally, I'm going to talk about how you can use the application Reverso Context to read articles on your phone. So let's get started with the video for today. Now obviously Reverso Context has a number of features that you can use, but today I'm just going to talk about how you can use it when you want to read articles to translate in real time. So when you first get onto the website on Reverso Context, which is context.reverso.net, you'll see this on the page. And you'll see a little box over here which says join Reverso. Now it's important that you join Reverso so that if you want to integrate it with the application on your phone and also save all of your searches and your history, it better integrates. So it's better to join as a member. Now it doesn't cost you anything. You click here and you register. So you can sign up with your email, you can use Facebook or you can use a Gmail account. So I already have a Gmail account, so I'm just going to log in here. I already have my login details. Now when you come back into the page, you'll see there's a little button over here that says Add Reverso to Chrome. It's free. So when you click on here, it'll take you to the Chrome Web Store. And when it takes you to the Chrome Web Store, it will ask you to click on a button so we will ask you to click on a button here which will say add to Chrome obviously mine says remove from Chrome but it's because I've already downloaded the application and I've already got the extension in my browser so once you've downloaded the browser, you can close that and you, it will take you back to the main page. Then what we want to do is we want to use the extension to read an article. So let's go into this web page. So this is a, a website for an architecture firm, Breathe Architecture in Melbourne, Australia. And this is a page about one of their projects. And I want to read this page, I want to find out a little bit more about one of the projects that they worked on. With this extension, if you click up here, you'll see this little icon, which is a mouse. If this is yellow, and it says all words are clickable, it means that you can click on any word in the website and it will give you the instant translation. You can click on it again to turn it off and on again. So when I come over here and I click on for example sustainability it will give me the word and also give me the pronunciation so if I click here sustainability it will give me the pronunciation now one of the other things that Reverso Context does really well is you'll notice that it highlighted two words environmental sustainability now this is because these two words have they're commonly co-located together because what Reverso Context does is it scans the internet for examples of this word. So it will show common co-locations. Now that's also really good when you're trying to find things like phrasal verbs, for example. It will show the word together when it's highlighted. So in my opinion, in the last video I talked about readlang. So Reverso context is much better in this circumstance where you want to have more information about the vocabulary but also about how to pronounce it. So this is a really handy tool and it will also save your history so if you want to make flashcards and word lists later on you can. So that is one way that you can do it when you're looking at a website. The other way you can do it is you can save it as a page. So if you go up to here, which is this little Reverso icon, and you click on this icon here, which says Save Page, and 
and you need to make sure you're signed in. So we'll just make sure we're logged in. And it will save the website, so it's just saved it here into the into my library. Okay, so when I click here, it it means that there are no photos on the page. It, it creates like a text page, and you can do the same thing. So you can click on different words to get the the translation. Okay. Recognize. So that's another way that you can do it to to get the the web page translated. Now say for example you close that or you accidentally close all of your pages, you can click back here onto the icon and then click on reading list and it will bring back all of the web pages that you have saved as you've been searching. So here we can see the, the articles that I've saved. Now the other way that you can use Reverso Context, which is really powerful and really handy, is you can use it to translate subtitles. So here we have a TED Talk about design thinking. And as it's playing, these subtitles are coming up. Now because I've clicked on here, and I've made sure that translation in subtitles is activated. This is another reason why you need to have an account because you'll be able to um, turn this feature on when you want to look at a TED Talk, for example. You can also use it with YouTube, with Netflix, and with Amazon Prime, which makes it so handy when you're trying to watch something and you, you need to stop it to get a translation of something. So here you can see I can click on the word building and it's giving me the French translation because that's what I have it set to and it also tells me if it's uh, a noun or if it's an adjective. Okay so we can click on different subtitles. As you're playing it, if for example you start to click on the subtitles it will automatically pause the video for you. Okay. So you can click on all of the words, it gives you the meaning. It's so, so handy, really powerful stuff. It's one of the best things that I discovered about Reverso Context when I started learning French because it has helped me enormously. I watch a lot of videos now using this feature. Now the last way that I wanted to show you that you can use Reverso Context is by having the application on your phone. So let's jump onto my phone to see how it would work. Okay, so here we can see that I have the Reverso Context app on my phone. Now there are a number of ways that you can use Reverso Context, but today I'm just going to show you how by having it on your phone, it allows you to be able to translate words in real time while you're reading in Safari. So if we go into Safari or your web application, say for example you're reading uh, an article. So I found this article here about a high-rise building in, um, I'm not sure where this is actually, where is it? In Seattle. And it's a new development and I want to read this really interesting article but there's some words that I'm finding confusing. What you can actually do is click on the word and then it you have this option here which is to share so if you click on share it will ask you where you want to share it to and I can click on reverso context and the word that I had highlighted the word point will show me what it means it will give me the translation and it will also give me examples of how this word is used in different sentences so not only does it give you the translation and the pronunciation, it also gives you the, the examples of how you use it in context. So that is three ways that you can use Reverso Context to help you with your reading. I hope that you found today's video useful and you'll hear from me again soon.